When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful? And the son of man that thou visited him. Tonight we have to pray prayers for help. But we need to ask ourselves, what makes us so important that God cares about us at all? What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visited him. For thou hast made him a little more than the angels and has crowned him with glory and honor. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Thou makest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Yeah. Thou hast put all things under his feet. This is how much the Lord loves his children. That's why I'm surprised when I ask people for testimonies and everybody just keeps quiet. Saying, well, this guy is wasting his time. Let us get on to the meat of it. No. The thing is the testimony that is the meat of it. Thou makest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Yeah. And he has put all things under the feet of men. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea. Yeah. And whatsoever passeth through the parts of the sea. Verse 9, the final verse of that psalm says, O Lord, our our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. We are, we are helpless in the world. We are helpless. We are worms. Somebody say you are not a worm. Look at Isaiah 41. We are not thou worm Jacob. And you men of Israel. I will help you. Say the Lord and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He says He will help us. We should not be afraid. Yes. Then there are situations that you get to and you know that you cannot go beyond it anymore. That's right. Oh, yes. There are circumstances that we get to and we know that it's beyond us. Okay, tomorrow is Friday now. Maybe you have, maybe you have a staff to go. And you don't have the money as I'm talking right now. That is beyond me. I used to be, a, I used to own a factory, I used to own a national company, I used to own all kinds of things. When it was time to pay the staff, you don't sleep very well that night. I don't know if you're ready to go by that online or whatever I'm saying. <laughs> The night before you pay your staff, you never sleep well. I've done it many times. So people are laughing, so they know what I'm saying. You refuse to sleep, you won't sleep. At 2 or 3 a.m., you won't sleep to be catching the normal person. No. What you are thinking of will not let you sleep. But then you know what happens in the morning? By evening time, when you are going back to this bed, you look in the middle and you say, wow, how did I pay that $10,000? Wow, how did I pay with $15,000? Wow, everybody got their money. I'm giving you an example. <laughs> it's the help of the Lord. <laughs> Bible says our help is in the name of the Lord. The Psalm says it. Our help. I help somebody sign us some money as it is. help is in the name of the Lord. For the Lord our God is mighty. Our help is in God's name. Our help is in Jesus' name. Because Jesus means Savior. You don't save somebody from a safe situation. You don't save somebody from a situation that is already safe. No. You, you save him from a situation where he's helpless, where he's got no hope. Where he's, the next thing for him or her is destruction. Where the next thing for him or her is shame. When that situation works, that's where you hear the word Jesus. Because what it means at that time 
is that somebody is to be saved. That is the meaning of the word Jesus. Hallelujah. So, brethren, we have a savior. We have somebody who is our savior. We have somebody who is our friend. A very present help. A very present help. Fear not that one Jacob. And you made a vision. Why? I will help you save the Lord. The Redeemer. We don't redeem somebody from a, from a, from a safe zone of safety. We don't redeem one of a situation of comfort. No. We redeem somebody from a pit. Hello? Yeah. We redeem somebody when they are in a pit. We redeem somebody when they are in a cage. We redeem somebody when, when, when everything is about to, to be over, finally. Yeah. <laughs> it says, the Lord that redeemer, the one that can redeem you. To redeem something is to make it whole again. To redeem something is to make it well again. Oh, glory be to God. I see a picture that I want to do. He says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not short that it cannot save, nor is his ear so dull that it cannot hear. I uh, did you know how many times you have prayed and nothing happened. <laughs> and you are thinking in your mind, this God who his ears must be talking now. He has been hearing too many of us. No way. God's ears can be done. He's not a human being that ages. He's the ancient of days. So when you are praying and there's no answer, his ears are bound to assure you his ears are not done. So it's because your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God. And your sins are keeping his face from you so that he does not hear. Our Lord is a help. Our Lord is a say to where you are. Say, my Lord. My Lord. Oh, come on, people. My Lord. My Lord. Is a very present help. But. Oh, come on, but. I must be above sin. Hallelujah. <laughs> I need to see. Just pray a prayer for yourself and continue. Just ask God to forgive you right now where you are. If there's any iniquity that is being held against you at this hour that can stop you from helping you, I want you to open your mouth right now and just say, Father, for every iniquity, save me. Save me, save me to the God that we have in the mighty name of Jesus. From every type of iniquity, Lord, save me tonight. Have mercy and cleanse me tonight. From every type of iniquity, have mercy and help me tonight. Oh, pray, pray, pray before we go to prayer itself. From every iniquity, maybe the one you committed 30 years ago, ask him to help you. I ask him to help you. There's only, there's only two parties that is remaining that hasn't gone. Ask him to help you tonight. From all iniquity, help me tonight. Help me, O oh Lord. From every iniquity, help me tonight, O oh Lord. Help me tonight, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Isaiah 59 is a promise. It says, Then we will call, and the Lord will answer. We will cry for help, and He will say, Here am I. But that will happen. If we do a move with the look of oppression, with the pointing finger and the malicious talk. <laughs> Nothing is too hard for God, brethren, as we are praying tonight. I need to go that we hold God is our own behavior. We have to do with the yoke of oppression. 
You have to pay coins in Kenya and other people. You have to pay malicious stock. You should have those kind of vices tonight. You need to ask me to forgive you. Otherwise, that will come. His promise has already said it. He says, then you will come and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and you he will say, here am I. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Even Isaiah 65, 24. He says, before they call, I will answer. Yeah, yeah. While they are still speaking, I will hear. Oh, I don't know about you. There are many times that you are still thinking of the situation and the Lord has already answered it. You are still thinking of the situation and your God has already answered it. Before you can even think of it, He has answered it. Yes. Yes. So he's a God that can hear. He can hear you so many times. Nothing is too big for God, my brother, my sister tonight. Nothing is too big for God. One sister who caught a Buddha, one medical doctor, and I read her, I read her testimony. She quickly linked with her pastor once she knew that she was in the jaws of death. Her phone was with her. She linked her pastor and she and they were agreeing every day. Every day. Even when she could not talk again. Even when the sickness had overwhelmed her and the because she was going to die. She still found a way to link with the word of God and the man of God in her life every day. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, the same situation that you always kill her, she tells me that clearing up. And as I talk to today, she's a testimony wherever she's going. As we're having today, she's a testimony wherever she's going. Glory to God. It is not difficult for God to help us, but I nothing is too big for him. Ah, Proverbs 34. Who has ascended up into heaven or descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has bound the waters in the garments? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? We doubt and stare. Nothing is too big for God. Nothing. When he says in Jeremiah 22 27, he says, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for him? Nothing is too big for him. Nothing is too hard for him. Nothing is too small for God. And nothing is too small for God. From our study, he knows the ants. He knows the locusts. He knows the spider. He knows them all. Nothing is too small because he created me with the smallest microbe. He created the biggest mountains. So as far as helping you and I, nothing is too hard for me. Somebody might be online and be thinking, what is this fellow talking about? I've been in this situation for so long and this God has not helped me. You might think like that, but I'll tell you about God. He's not the man that you should have. I've been reading this God to you just now. He's not. He's not the man that you should die. He has no reason to lie. If he says it, he will do it. If you have been waiting on that miracle for so long and you have not got it, then you have to do with God. <laughs> Many times you have people who want that we are going to pray very shortly. Many times you have people who want God to do all kinds of miracles. Sometimes the miracle he does might be on, might make him untimely. So he waits. 
And then when the time comes, nothing can stop it. I remember the sister of this girl on this same prayer line a couple of years ago. And she just had a baby a few weeks ago. She had six miscarriages. Six miscarriages. Until we went to their uh, ministry one day. And the Lord called her out. And the Lord said, About this time next year, you will be carrying your baby. Time, God's time. When He says it, when it is time, go and bring the worst witch on the face of this earth. That witch is dead. <laughs> go and bring the biggest warlock. Go and, be, go and bring the biggest curse. That has been your family for 10,000 years. The day Master Jesus says it's over, it is oh, over. Simple. Oh, Hallelujah. Okay. I don't know what you're waiting for. When it was time, those that went to kill that sister's baby again, the Lord sent a wonderful accident to them. He made the enemy buffet them for a, for a season. I think God just thought, uh, we let them see the child. If not for that, that person would never have seen the child that God gave their sister. Yeah, yeah. Today she's a mother and a very happy mother. Yeah. He can help you. That's what I want you to know tonight. Yeah. Don't think it's impossible. Don't think your circumstances is impossible. But don't think there's somebody who came online today. Completely convinced that there is no way again that well, let me just do it. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. The Lord is saying there's someone like that online right now. And that is telling you to tell you that I, not okay now with him, I, the Lord, will help you. I'm going to say amen to that. Yeah. Oh, yes, he says, you tell that person, he says, I will help you. So you are online, you are, you are not even thinking of it. There are so many times in the Bible he had the children of Israel, his own children. Exodus 14. He used all kinds of plagues. Exodus, uh, where about the book of Exodus? He used all kinds of plagues to convince Pharaoh to release his children. At the Red Sea, he appeared as a way in and pushed aside the large body of water so his kids could cross. When they were in the desert, he sent fresh meat, quail, sent manna bread. Not this big wood having bread, no. The flat ones, the ones at the middle, they tell you that it will eat. That's why they don't have their babies. Hallelujah. <laughs> In Joshua, you know, he caused the sun to stand still for Joshua and the people to destroy the Amorites. Their enemies. Second Kings 3, he saved the three kings and their armies from thirst. You shall see no rain, you shall hear see no rain. In the morning, the valleys will be filled with water. Remember? Second Chronicles 20, I just, I just chose a few random from the Bible. He held the Hosea that the people of Judah and Israel, uh, Jerusalem, when the siege was held against them. He held them. All of them was praising him. He lifted the siege of Samaria, 17 Less than 24 hours, and there was plenty, 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 plenty. Less than 24 hours from now, everything that is tough in your life is changed in Jesus. When somebody say amen. Oh, oh, yes, you can receive it. It's the word of God. Yeah. <laughs> if thou can believe, all things are possible to them that do what, that do what, that do what. That believe. Hallelujah. First Samuel 30, he helped David and his mighty army to push through, overtake and recover their families and their properties. What have you lost? You can pursue it, you can overtake, you can recover it, you can recover it with interest. Only one person is catching it tonight. Don't be going to go for that person. <laughs> Feeding, you see, you can't feed you and your family. He fed 5,000 men, not counting women and children, with five loaves, two fish, and then they collected leftovers. What am I saying? The Lord can put you in a situation where you have so much that after you've taken everything you need, you have enough to give others, to bless others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, glory to God. 
The work of the dead so many times in the New Testament. In the Old Testament. They will lie on the child, breathe on the child, child will rise right up. Widows. He helped them. Send them prophets. When they were going to send, he sent Jesus to the widow of Bain. Hallelujah. When there is nobody else to touch, the woman with the issue of blood touched him. Oh, God is too much. He's ready to help his children. <laughs> oh, yes. Was it a time of famine? That's when he told Isaac to sow. So I don't know about you. I don't care what they are telling you. What is the federal laws or something? I say you should not do that. You are thinking, should I do that? Should I? No, no, no. Go and do it. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. He can even help you to destroy your enemies. You don't help somebody to kill a thousand people. Yeah. You are weak, so am I. But our God is strong. He's mighty. Oh, just, just where you are, I just thank you because I'm going to pray right now. Let's say, Father, you are so mighty. I just thank you tonight. I just thank you. Just go ahead and thank him. Just thank him tonight. Just thank him. Just say, Father, I thank you. Nothing can stop your move in my life. It is impossible for the enemy to stop your move. Just thank you right now. Just thank you. But Father, I just I just appreciate you. I just appreciate you, baby. I just appreciate you. Just go ahead and thank him. Just go ahead and thank him. Oh, glory be to God. Our God has not changed. Our God has not changed. Our God has not changed. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. See, they are going to they are going to pray prayers of hell. <laughs> because the one who is in heaven, the Bible says, is looking down upon his children. Which one needs help? Which one can I help? He's always looking down. That's what the Bible says. Our uh, God is always looking down to see which of his children, which one of them can I help? Which one can I change this situation? That's the business of Jehovah. Thinking which one can I help? Always looking down. Always looking down. So that's why you're going to pray for that right now. I want to meditate for you just one minute. On the things you want to ask for help for tonight. Just for one minute. I'm not giving one minute. I'm going to keep quiet for one minute. You keep talking about your mind these are things I'm going to ask for. Go ahead. For the Lord, my God, is mighty. Just think of it, just meditate on it right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> As you are seeking him, he's going to help you. Ah, Psalm 14, 2. He says, The Lord was looking down from heaven on the children of men to see if there were any who had wisdom searching after God. That's what you are doing. So just think about the points and that for another few seconds. Just think about it for another few seconds. Just think about it for another few seconds. 
have compassion on my ministry, have compassion on my spirituality. Have to go ahead, whatever it is, you go ahead and pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Show me mercy, Lord. Show me mercy. I don't deserve it, but show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Show me, Lord. Show me, Lord. Oh, show me, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Show me, Lord. Show me mercy, Lord. Show me mercy, Lord. Just show me your mercy, Lord. Show me mercy, Lord. Show me, 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 let me speak in every area of my life, oh Lord. Oh, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh, for you, I will pray. I tell you because there are not so many. But the prayer will bring a result tonight. If you can pray. You are going to make an acknowledgement right now. And then you pray the prayer. Without you, Lord, I am nothing. Therefore, help me. Without you, Lord, I am nothing. Therefore, help me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Without you, Lord, I acknowledge I am nothing. Help me in Jesus' name. Help me in Jesus' name. Help me in Jesus' name. Without you, Lord, I am nothing. 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 Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Without you, I am nothing. Help me, Lord. Without you, I am nothing. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I am helpless without you. I am helpless without you, Lord. I am helpless without you, Lord. I am helpless without you, help me, Lord. I am helpless without you, Lord. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Just help me, Lord. Without you, I am nothing. I am nothing. I am mount to nothing. If you don't help me, Lord. If you don't help me, I am mount to nothing. I am mount to nothing. So help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. My brother, help me, Lord. Without you, I am nothing. Without you, I am nothing, Mama. I am nothing. So help me. 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 Help me, help me Lord. Without you, I am helpless, Lord. Without you, I am helpless, Lord. Yes. 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 I am absolutely nothing. I am helpless. I am useless without you, Lord. Only through Christ can I be strength in the Lord. Only through the cross of Christ can I do anything in Lord. Help me, 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 help me. Help my situation. Help my family situation. Help my family situation. Help my ministry situation. Help my parents situation. Help my situation. situation. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help my business situation. Whatever I can do, you pray it right now. I am nothing without you, Lord. I am nothing. I am useless. I am completely helpless without you, my Father. I acknowledge that I am nothing. I am nothing without you, Lord. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. 
Help me, Jehovah. Help me, Jehovah. Help me, Mara. Help me, Lord. So if I cry to you, hear me, help me, Lord. So if I cry to you, help me, Lord. <laughs> oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Oh, no. Let me pray three quick prayers right now. Let me say, oh, Lord. Make the crooked path straight for me. Oh Lord, make the crooked path straight for me. Go ahead in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray right now. Oh Lord, make the crooked path straight for me. Oh, pray, brethren. Make the crooked path straight for me, oh Lord. Make the part straight, oh my life, oh Lord. Make every put your part straight, oh Lord. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. They're going to say, Oh Lord, make the valleys pray for me. Make every valley, make it pray. That is, we should fill up every valley for you. Oh Lord, fill up every valley. Be fill up every valley for me. Go ahead and pray. My Lord, pray the mighty name of Jesus. Fill up the valleys for me, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Fill up the valleys for me, oh Lord. Every valley in my life, every valley I'm going through, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill up. Fill up the valleys for me, Lord. If it's between water, fill it up. Whatever it is, Lord, whatever I need right now, spiritually, physically, mentally, in my soul, whichever way, Lord, make every valley in my life, fill it up, fill up, fill up every valley in my life. Fill up every valley in my life, oh Lord. Fill up every valley in my life, oh Lord. Fill up every valley, every valley, every valley in my life. Fill it up, Lord. Fill up every valley in my life, oh Lord. Fill up every valley, every valley in my life, oh Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The Lord said, Father, make every mountain flat for me. Make them clean for me. Make every mountain in my life flat tonight. Go ahead and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Those barriers. Make them flat for me, Lord. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Make everybody clap for me, Lord. Everybody, 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 make them clap for me, Lord. Make them clap for me. Please pray, 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 pray. We are almost done. Make everybody clap for me, Lord. Make everybody, make them clap for me, Lord. Make everybody flat. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Glory be to God. Psalm 121. It says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let the foot sleep. He whatever you will not slumber. Hallelujah. Now I say, Maker of heaven and earth, do not let my foot sleep. 
Know that my feet sleep. Know that the sun smite me. Know that the moon smite me. Go ahead and pray in the mighty name of Jesus, maker of heaven and earth. Do not let my feet sleep. Open your mouth and pray. Do not let my feet sleep, oh Lord, make a young man. Do not let my feet sleep, do not let the sun smite me, do not let the moon smite me. Keep me from every harm, go ahead and pray. Keep me from every harm, oh Lord. Keep me from every harm, oh Lord. Keep me from every harm, oh Lord. The little single will just cut out here. Oh yes. Keep me from every harm, oh Lord. From every harm, keep me from every harm, oh Lord. Keep me from every harm, oh Lord. From every harm, oh Lord. Keep me, keep me, keep me from every harm. Keep me from every harm, oh Lord. Keep me from every harm. Keep me from every harm, oh Lord. Keep my family members from every harm, oh Lord. Keep us from harm, oh Lord. Keep us from harm, oh Lord. Oh, thank you, my last Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Why don't you clap for Jesus, Christ? Why don't you clap for Jesus, now? Just clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus, now, somebody clap for Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Because some, some miracles were already done as we were praying. Yes. Some miracles were done while we were praying. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I can say there's somebody on there right now. You have been waiting for, for somebody to help you. Flesh. And flesh has been behaving just like it went back in the day. As flesh. <laughs> the Lord said to tell that person. He said, for that, for your for the so-called help, I already don't help you to know that I am God. He says, I will take that situation through another path. You are starting to tell that person you are not right now. He says you take that situation to another pathway. Oh no! So that those who are supposed to help and they are being like they will not help, then they will see the hand of God. Hallelujah! God is saying take the situation to another pathway. Oh glory be to God! Glory to God! Hallelujah! 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 Now, so there's somebody online. I know a friend of yours asked you to help them. I think they want to come out. They want to come to. Uh, they want to come and visit it in America. But can I stay with you? And truthfully, you don't have the means to help them. Perhaps your house is too small or something. And they've been holding that grudge against you for some time. Well, he doesn't have to tell you that he has broken the effect of that guy hatred tonight. He said, the Lord has to tell that person. The effect of their hatred over you, the Lord says he has destroyed it tonight. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. be to God. Yes. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's somebody online right now. What's the problem? Somebody is, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. It's a child that's supposed to be married, not married for so long. Not shall you tell you that tonight's prayer has broken that jinx right now. That child has been married for a long time, but the Lord says he has broken it right now. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. There's somebody on there right now because you ask for help. They're going to see a sudden surge in your business. A sudden surge. Because now the helpers are here now. Helpers. Those who are 
ministering spirits are here to help our prayers. You see, it's only surge in your business as you are praying. What you are thinking of giving up on the bank say, no, I will not get the blessing. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, ancient of things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say there is somebody, as you are praying, you are saying your mind, <laughs> how the mighty for you, the glory has departed. Well, you are prayer line for information, the glory has not departed. And for you, for you go to shut up that, that person online right now. For God to shut up that person, that person will have a mind blowing testimony. Before the end of this weekend, they will have to come back on this line, on the prayer line, to come and say, I am the one. Just because you said that, God, God, God wants to surprise that person. Instead of, instead of, instead of God to, 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 to punish you, you're going to get an incredible blessing, that person. But what God is telling me is when you get it, come here, come and come and confess what you said in your mind. Because you know the same you said so. Hallelujah. Who are we that you mind us, oh God? Let's thank him for what he has done tonight. Go ahead. Just thank him, God. And we say, Father, we thank you. Open your mouth, brethren. Just thank him right now. Just thank him. Right just worship him and thank him right now. Just thank him right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Is Jesus still to pray? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. The Lord is saying there's a woman online right now. As I'm talking to you, you're wearing a scarf. That's how you know you're the Lord. In fact, the scarf you're wearing has quite a few colors on it. They're online right now. And then they said I should tell that woman, no matter what your hair looks like, you should don't put on, don't put any uh, artificial, what do you call it? Artificial IQ, maybe like wig or maybe put. So don't put it on for, for a few months and see what I will do with the glory of your hair. And you know when God is dealing with the glory of somebody's hair, he's also dealing with the glory of that person. Right now you are wearing a scarf, it's multicolored. That's what you tell that person. Amen. Amen. That person should say amen. That person should say amen. Say amen. You that person. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Everybody, raise up your hands. Let me just pray. As the Lord is leading right now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, I bless you. Because you changed me. You don't see things women see things. You don't do things women do things. You are more than enough. Yeah. And you are special. You are our God. I want to thank you right now. Somebody's house is, is filled with such power and fire right now that no evil person can stay in that house right now. I'm looking at it right now. Even as I'm praying right now. Yes. You see what I'm saying? You see somebody come and confess. The fire is too much in that house as I'm praying right now. Father, yeah, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Every one of your children of mine, let them taste of your help and your goodness. Let them see that their father is able. Show them the power of your blood. Let them see the power of your blood. Let them see the power of your blood. Let them see the power of the blood. There's somebody online. Wow. The Lord says it's going to collapse 20 years. It's going to collapse 20 years. It's going to collapse 20 years into just a few months. What that means is that what you're going to achieve for 20 years, in a few months, you're going to achieve everything. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. I will say amen to that for myself. I don't know about you. 
<laughs> oh, I see. I see the fall of you in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, Lord, bless every person on them. Bless this prayer line. Surprise your children. Make the women there's none. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you want to make an offering, go to the um, deliverancefellowship.com. The offering you make goes to the demands at the church's account. But deliverancefellowship.com. Over there you'll see a donor button. Deliverancefellowship.com. Father, we thank you for tonight. We bless you. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Somebody should be like headed now. That's the name of God. Anybody has any testimony I want to hear before we go? Anybody with a testimony? Tonight also, with our woman, we take it up. Isaiah, what was it then? Yes, I'm here. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2. Sometimes we get good prophecies, and God wants to do it, and then some things get in the way. We have not had his love short. Our iniquities can be just disliked for somebody else, maliciousness. Pointing a finger, as if to take mine. We went through it. And that brings a yoke of oppression upon us. So that sister, I don't know who you are. I want to beg you, if there's anybody you still hold in your mind, in any way, let them go. That's when that prophecy will come to pass. Amen. Anybody else with testimony before you go? And so, Father, we just round this up now with thanks and we return all the glory to you tonight. And so, if somebody is going to work tonight, you will get to work with her and you will be promoted tonight. That person, hallelujah. Because he's alive right now. And so, Father, we thank you that we just bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Have a great night. God bless you, and Please come on the prayer line. Tomorrow, from 12 midnight to the end, we invite people, ask them to come on the prayer line. Hallelujah. It is very, very, very good. God bless you. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Lord Jesus.